Hello, <laughs> good to meet you. My name is Marta Muñoz. I'm a Foroiga project worker working here in Galway with young people in Balinfoil. And I'm going to talk about the project we are doing during the last year, during the three lockdown we are having in, in Ireland. And if you don't mind, I'm going to share with you my screen. And I'm going to speak about this lovely project. Let's go together a remote youth and family project. Uh, we did this project in Norway. My colleague, Nick Linan, and myself, Marta Muñoz, working uh, in a collaborative project between um, Galway uh, for OIDA, Balinfoil Youth Development Project, UDU, Galway City Partnership, and Healthy Island, as part of the Safe Food Community Food Initiative. The origin uh, the project evolved from a multi agency network meeting involving local agencies working together to ensure the needs of the community were being met. It was identified through that meeting that a number of agencies were struggling to make contact with families in these times and have a presence in the community. During the initial stages of COVID-19 restrictions, there were also concerns from all the families we were working with that young people were presenting with low motivation, altered sleep routines, and increased tension in the house. Taking that feedback on board, we identified cooking as a possible initiative that allowed us to remain in contact with families and young people during a typical time. And because I did as well the uh, Healthy Food Made Easy training in February last year, we thought that cooking had allowed us being a focal point in our project during the clubs uh, where each member rotated each week to cook for the entire group. And it really helped us promote relationship and personal confidence. We felt that by targeting and prompting families to engage in this manner at home, we hope uh, it would have the same impact than in our clubs. Uh, promote a healthy lifestyle and to help alleviate some of the difficulties being experienced. This project, in part, was to support families to cook and eat healthy meals together during the COVID-19 outbreak, while also serving as tool for informal communication and a type of checking tool to support families. We are doing as, as well in conjunction with this program, another program called uh, For Oiga's Fitness Challenge, in which we are encouraging the young people to go for a walk or a run every day um, and count the steps and send it to us. And then we are discussing and maybe uh, getting some prizes. Uh, the numbers, um, the first Let's Cook Together program was delivery in May last year over four weeks. Each program uh, were four or five weeks. Four healthy recipes were selected from the Safe Food YouTube channel and the 101 square meals book. The accompanying recipes were printed and laminated and were sent to the local central to be included uh, with a bag of ingredients. As we were restricted to our homes, it was important to find a suitable shop to support the program and our local central, Morphe Central, were happy, really always happy to assist. In total, 18 families participated in the first project in May 2020, 26 families in the second in July, 29 in the third program in November, and 42 families are currently involved in the fourth program we are doing at the moment. In total, we were attending 115 families. Due to the high numbers involved, each program was part funded by Foroiga, Healthy Galway, Safe Food, and Galway City Partnership. The local shop distributed in total 469 bags of ingredients. We did uh, 17 healthy recipes and we think during the four programs, we were in contact with the families 1,467 times roughly, uh, including text calls, video calls, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram. You will be surprised how creative the young people is when they want. Um, continuing um, the recipes, we were using more than uh, 34 ingredients. We were including one recipe with chicken, another with beef, another with fish, and the last one uh, should be a dessert, a omelet, a quiche, or from bread, or a banana bread. This is an example of the recipes we are giving in each pack. 
uh, is covering um, all the things we wanted to speak with the families. We are including in the recipes a YouTube link to Safe Food Channel. We are always uh, trying to find recipes that they are in the YouTube channel in case they they can uh, call us in that moment. They always have the, the link to the YouTube channel. They have the ingredients, the method, the nutritional information, and the portions, the how many portions of the five a day, preparation time, and cooking time, and utensils needed. We did uh, recipes uh, really, really different, chicken curry, beef stroganoff, uh, spinach and pita frittata, orange and carrot soup, banana bread, a lot of different recipes. Uh, before the program started, we contacted the families and gave them a copy of the 101 square meals, easy recipes for everyday life, and four tickets to collect the bag of ingredients in the local center. Each ticket had a code, which allowed us to identify who had collected the meals and who hadn't. This proved useful. It has allowed us to contact families and remind them that the meals um, there are open up a line of communication. The system was developed in response uh, to the families and the central manager's feedback from the previous program. A war, as war would spread of the program and many bags were handed out in the first round of the program who families who were not in the initial list. Families were notified by test when the ingredients bags were ready to, collect, to be collected. Uh, from the shop. Each family was supported by a Foroi gadget worker, by phone, text, video calls, depending on the needs of the family. Families use photos to record the cooking process and the finishes product each week and send them to the Foroi workers every week so they can follow the attendance and support and encourage the families. Uh, comments and feedbacks. In speaking with the families, all of them found the cooking program to be very beneficial and they felt it was a great way to engage in cooking together. Many of the families spoke about how it was uh, helping siblings communicate better and gave them something to do together. Many families enjoyed the variety and uh, healthiness of the variety and healthiness of the meals. Some young people didn't enjoy certain aspects of the meals, the fish. However, uh, the majority of the people uh, who tried a meal, uh, they hadn't tried before, really enjoyed it, and it is now part of their weekly menu. It was felt that the program came at, came at the right time for families, and it add a new dimension to the family routine where all members of the family can get involved. We have here a few comments they were sending us, like uh, one family, the most beautiful comment, it was a wonderful program during such a very uncertain time. It was a great way of getting all the family taking part and tasting such good food. We really appreciate this opportunity and we would love to be part of any other program you are running. Thanks so much. Another family was telling us like great recipes and we love the cookbook, very easy to follow, we use regularly. Another family thought it was great, fantastic things we really provide. Another family found it good to introduce different food for them. Also, he got involved in cooking and how food should be prepared and cooked. Another family was telling us we had a great time cooking together or all the recipes were laminated really handy. Another comment, never thought I would eat that in my life. That was a young person. <laughs> but I'm glad I did because it's savage. Benefits we observed. Uh, introducing young people to cooking skills and healthy eating habits early in life, learn new recipes for the family and new ways to cook, create a sense of belonging within local community through their interest in cooking and healthy eating, improve family relationships, siblings and parents through working as a team in the kitchen, the staff, uh, we have developed a positive uh, relationship with parents and young people, sometimes with new families, sometimes with families we already know, but it is another kind of relationship. Um, more of the times, really, really good. The parents and the young people enjoy cooking now. We are really happy to hear that. And the areas for development and learning in the program, during uh, one of the programs, a plate 
to measure the main nutrients and portions was included in the bag, one for adults and another one with a lid for kids and, and a little spoon and a fork. It gave, you will see in the photos. It gave us the opportunity to speak with the families about the portions and the quantities we should eat. You will be surprised about how different they think and the different sizes of the portions the kids should eat in comprise. The Safe Food Resources was, uh, were an important support to the delivery of the project, offering families a selection of healthy meals options both during the program as an ongoing support. Following the program through the distribution of laminated recipes, YouTube links to cooking demonstration videos, hard copies of the 101 Square cookbook, and another Safe Food leaflets and the the local center in Malinfoil, we have found that is essential to the delivery of the program. Uh, they think it's a great program and found the ticket to let the bag to Maurice. This project gave us uh, access to the families and young people uh, who were cut off from us during COVID-19. It allowed us to keep in contact and hear uh, firsthand how families were coping during the crisis. We have found before the project that families were unwilling to engage with us formally. And what this project did was remove that barrier and allowed us to build relationship and informally support young people and families when the needs arose. We felt that some of the issues uh, which had been presented to us have decreased during the project. And one of the major successes uh, observed by us was the level of communication with the families. We feel that the project was impacted positively on the families and we know we now have developed a platform from which we can now develop an increase of presence in the community. The collaborative approach to the project was central to its success. The role of the Galway City Partners is community development worker in terms of creating leagues and supporting the work with local agencies and families on the ground for regular youth workers in terms of planning the program delivery, recruiting families and providing ongoing support to the families through, through the project and the local shops in terms of preparing the ingredients packs and always a healthy, a healthy Galway City supporting us on the back. The project focuses on developing skills and knowledge that positively influence the eating habits and basic food skills among families in the disadvantaged areas. This project incorporated the following CFI themes, like, for example, supporting awareness around healthy eating, positive influence in the eating habits, different ways of cooking, not always uh, frying. It's really popular. Um, we are using more the oven or the pan with a bit of oil. And the cooking skills as personal skills for life. Uh, I want to show you as well a few photos of the process, uh, getting ready, how we were doing here. You have the tickets. We were printing and laminating the tickets in case they, they have to hand it. We were laminated. You can see here all the, all the um, recipes. Sometimes we have to find spices or other ingredients they don't have in the shop. So we are going to more shops to buy another ingredients. This is uh, what we included in the back, the book and the newsletter from the community and the evaluation form. They are giving us at the end of the program and they are letting us know what they think about the program, the favorite uh, recipes and, and a lot of things. These are the plates, the kids' plates and the portion plates for the adults. These are, these are the bags ready to go. These other bags are the bags uh, Centra is preparing for them. This is one of the examples of the ingredients in one bag, uh, everything with the recipe. And this is one example of the, the evaluation form fill out. And this is as well uh, the great feedback we are having a few examples of photos of the young people. You can see here the messages we are getting uh, you can see the young people preparing the food, cutting the ingredients, uh, preparing the food in the pan. They are really creative. Sometimes they are only sending us the product, the finalized product, and sometimes they are really creative and they want to let us know how funny.
this is one of our teams. And we can finish with this. Uh, you can find us in the social media and you can get in contact with us. Anytime, any question, we will be really happy of um, attending any, any questions. So please get in contact with us, with me or with Nick, and we will be really happy to get to know you and to solve any of your questions. Thanks, Emilio, for being there and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.